Hello Leo! This is your October forecast and also applies if you're Leo rising or Leo moon. Lovely Leos, this month Mercury, who's been retrograde, goes direct on the 10th of this month, easing up everything to do with communications, transportations and technology. Let me break the month down for you lovely Leos. First of all, for the first eight days of the month, Venus is still in your sign. And boy, she's been there a long time because of the retrograde we had during um, July and to, to the 7th of September. And she's just been going forward, forward, forward in Leo all this time. So you've got another eight days here, Leos, to do something lovely for yourself, to enjoy popularity to maybe get your hair done, buy some, a nice item of clothing, but to do something that makes you feel good about you, Leos. And of course, to make an entrance, which so many of you do like to do. So this Leo here, energizing you, making this uh, Venus there, making you, giving you an extra popularity spurt there. Now, on the 10th, as I mentioned, uh, Mercury goes direct here and direct in your third house, um, as well as the sun here in this third house. So this, any contracts that have been on hold or business dealings of any kind, uh, job offers, house contracts, buying, selling, renting, anything like that, after the 10th is a great time to move forward with anything in that area. If you have to sign something before that, don't panic. Generally, what Mercury retrograde tends to do if you do sign something important during that time is you've often missed something, which means that you might have to redo it. So that's really the worst that can happen, but generally it's not the end of the world, but just it can be just tedious, it can be a nuisance. So that's why we suggest avoiding it. And of course, there is always a possibility with that Mercury Retro in your third house, issues with losing data, losing information, and also perhaps computer or technical issues. So um, good time to get things things will resolve better for you once Mercury goes direct. So on the 9th of October, we've got Venus joining Mars and Jupiter in your house of money. So there is going to be a huge influence this month, lovely Leos, on your finances. Now, Jupiter's there for a year, Mars is there all this month, and Venus joining them from the 9th. So there could be some really good news for you financially. You have to watch with the fact that Jupiter enlarges whatever it touches. So if things are starting to go on a little bit of an upswing for you financially, chances are it's going to really continue and snowball. If things have been more difficult, chances are you may need to just be that bit more careful. But now that Venus joins the party on the 9th, this can be some good news. Something uh, nice potentially happening for you financially, a financial opportunity, a business opportunity. And as well with Mars there, this is going to make you quite relentless, really going after something. You shouldn't give up. These are great aspects to have in this second house of money, as long as you're being realistic and not over optimistic with the Jupiter energy. That's just the tendency sometimes. But Venus and Mars are giving you the right balance of not overselling and pushing people away, but you know, drawing them in nicely with Venus and then Mars just getting them to sign on the dotted line or to pay their money over. So this is a, is a great combination. These three are very close all month. Uh, at the end of the month, they come together conjunct. So it's powerful for you with your finances this month. Really look at your finances and really make the effort um, to make some positive changes. It's also a really good time to uh, work on your self-confidence. I mean, Leos are often depicted as being the most confident sign in the zodiac, and some of you are. 
but boy, I meet a hell of a lot of Leos who are not so confident. And these planets here are going to help you to really work on your values, what's important to you, and to really uh, develop your confidence based upon living according to what's important to you. On the 13th of October, we have got a new moon happening here in your third house. So we've got a lot of activity with money and now um, as we move through the month, this activity happening with everything to do with communications. So an opportunity for some new connections. This is a great time for networking. The new moon can bring you some new connections. It's a good time for learning something new, for studying something. For those of you that like writing, this new moon is going to give you a new opportunity maybe to reach a new audience, maybe to get that book out there, those articles, those blogs, those videos. It's very much a communicating month, especially after the 10th when that Mercury has gone direct. And on the 24th of the month, we've got the sun coming into your fourth house. So the last week of the month, shining a light, Leo's, on your home. So you might do something nice with your family. There may be some changes happening with your family, but it's shining a light in this area. So it's going to give you an opportunity to make changes and to make some positive changes. We all know how positive we feel when the sun comes out, well, especially in England, let me tell you. But, you know, it gives you that positive feeling. Wherever the sun is falling, where it transits in your chart, it's a positive burst of energy. So for you, Leos, it's to do with family, it's to do with home, it's to do with your surroundings and your roots. And on the 27th of October, we've got a full moon happening right up here in your 10th house. And this full moon in Taurus in the 10th. So whenever we've got a full moon, it's shining a light and it can, it can be a fruition time. So maybe there's a project you've been working on to do with work and it's coming to fruition. It's a completion maybe of a project. You've been working on something and now it completes. And it could also be a time of harvesting something that um, you had been hoping for. Maybe you've been hoping for that promotion, that new direction in your work. This full moon can help you achieve that. Equally, it can also show you what you're dissatisfied with, where you want to make some changes connected with your career and your life direction. And many of you may be looking for a new direction or new opportunities at the time of this full moon. So what we do have going on all month is a very beneficial trine between Jupiter here in your second house of money and Pluto in your sixth house of work. So this could bring you um, somebody powerful in the workplace from the work arena who may help you financially. So this could in fact be a raise, a promotion of sorts. It could also be um, some good news for you connected with finances or if not the good news yet, a good opportunity that you could get involved with that could make a lot of money or could be very valuable to you. But it looks like it's concerning money as it's connected with this second house. And we've also got going on that for the last couple of weeks of this month, we've got a square. Squares need to go in red because we've got to take notice of them and they cause a certain tension. So we've got a square between Neptune and Saturn going on in your fifth to your eighth houses. So Saturn is solidity, is structure, is commitment, doing what you say you're going to do. Neptune, on the other hand, is a little bit sometimes for the birds and the bees and hoping, living in faith that things are going to work out, but not necessarily a realistic situation. For you, there could be a situation connected with your own business or, or some kind of um, a venture that you're doing on your own. Maybe it needs a dose of reality in, injected into it, or it needs more structure. Maybe you've not been structured enough to be successful in your own business. 
Also, there could be maybe something to do with a joint financial situation, an investment, something to do with banking or your finances general, generally, where maybe you kind of have overcommitted yourself and you now need to retract. So the best thing to do with this aspect is to make sure that you are acting within your integrity, you feel good about what you're doing, and you're not over-promising and over-committing. That's the main thing to remember with that aspect. So there you have it, my lovely Leos. Thank you very much for commenting, sharing and subscribing, and of course for coming for your own personal reading. Have a wonderful month. Bye for now.